Good morning W4. Welcome to our final Friday story time. The book I'm going to read for you today is called Upsy Downtown. I wonder what clues that gives you about what kind of book this is going to be. And our illustrator for our book is Sue Hendra. It doesn't say the author on the front of this book. Oh, on the back actually. It says it's by Little Bee Books. Okay, let's get started. In Upsy Downtown, the sky is in the sea and the fish are in the air where the birds should be. The rain is falling up instead of falling down in the world of Upsy Downtown. In Upsy Downtown, the sheep are in the trees, cows hang off the branches where the birds should be. You walk upon your nose instead of on your toes in the world of Upsy Downtown. In Upsy Downtown, a monkey's in the nest telling funny stories, so the bird can't, birds can't rest. No one knows why. There's a tiger flying by in the world of Upsy Downtown. In Upsy Downtown, there's a hippo in the sky, giraffes in the clouds where the birds should fly. A chicken flies the planes while a walrus drives the trains in the world of Upsy Downtown. <laughs> in Upsy Downtown, the elephants are thin, nothing's as it should be, so the birds can't win. With bananas in the air, no one seems to care in the world of Upsy Downtown. In Upsy Downtown, the birds begin to hop, the rabbits start to fly, then the birds shout. What do you think the birds are going to shout? Everything is on its head. Turn the book around instead. In Downy Uptown, the sea is down below. The clouds are in the sky. The fish know where to go. The birds are in their nest. They really need the rest. Good night in Downey Uptown. The end. Thanks for joining me in our final, oops, Upsy Downtown, all right, <laughs> in our final um, Friday story time. I have loved getting to read to you um, every Friday, but I can't wait to do it face to face.